If you're just starting out in the cocktail world and you're not quite sure which way is up, I've got the 11 best cocktail recipes for beginners right here just for you. Stay tuned. What's up guys, Sam James, barprince.co, and in this video we're gonna be going over the 11 best cocktail recipes for beginners. Now if you're new to the channel and you're looking to take your cocktail game to the next level, don't forget to hit the subscribe button right down here, and don't forget to click the notification bell to make sure you never miss a new video whenever they come out. Now these 11 cocktail recipes definitely include some of the great classics that we all know and love, but I chose these, one, these recipes specifically because of three main reasons. First of which is they all are comprised of one main spirit, one base spirit. And I think that's important when you're beginning so that you don't find yourself having to buy a bunch of exotic ingredients and you end up running up a huge um, bill and with bottles in your bar that you're only going to use maybe once or twice. Now the second reason, building off of the first one of not having to buy a bunch of exotic ingredients, the remaining ingredients in the majority of these cocktails, pretty much all of these cocktails, are things that you would commonly have in your fridge or that you'd have around the house. And if you don't have these in your fridge or your pantry, then you can solve that with a quick trip to the grocery store. Now finally, I like these cocktail recipes because they cover all the bases in terms of your major base spirits, your whiskey, your vodka, your gin, your rum. And the names of these cocktails are cool names, not as generic as say the rum and coke or the gin and tonic. Not that there's anything wrong with any of these cocktails, obviously. But when you suggest to a guest that you're going to make, you know, one of these cocktails, giving it a name that they either recognize or even better, one that they don't recognize, it makes them think, wow, this person knows what they're doing. I'm in for a treat. Makes it really look like you're about to give them something special. Now, first up on our list, we have the east side. Now, for this one, you're going to grab your shaker and then go ahead and add the following. Four to six fresh mint leaves, about two slices of cu cucumber. Add that to your shaker and go ahead and give that a nice muddle. Right after that, you're going to add one ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of fresh lemon juice, and two ounces of gin. Go ahead and add some ice to your shaker, give it a nice shake, and then you're going to go ahead and double strain that into your glass. All set with your east side. Next up is our cucumber cooler. Now we're gonna be piggybacking a bit off of the east side for this one. You're gonna take four to six fresh mint leaves again, another two slices of cucumber, add that to your shaker, and then go ahead and give that a nice muddle. This time around, go ahead and add one ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of fresh lime juice, and then two ounces of vodka. Add some ice to your shaker, give it a nice shake, then you're gonna double strain that into your highball glass over ice. Now, I prefer to double strain cocktails that are muddled because you catch all of the fine bits and pieces from whether it's the fruit or the herbs or whatever the case may be, and it makes for a cleaner sip for your guests, far more pleasant. Once you're done straining it, go ahead and top it off with about two ounces of sparkling water, then take some fresh mint, agitate it over your fingers, stick that behind the ice for the garnish, and you're all set with your cucumber cooler. Next up on our list is another classic, the Tom Collins. For this one, you're gonna grab your highball glass, build the cocktail in the glass. You're gonna go ahead and add some ice to it, and then add one ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of fresh lemon juice, and then your two ounces of gin. Go ahead and give that a nice stir for about 20 to 30 revolutions, and then you're gonna to top that off with some sparkling water. Slice a nice lemon wheel and add that for your garnish, and you're all set with your Tom Collins. Now the next one is gonna be piggybacking off of this as the Vodka Collins. And as you may have guessed, the big difference here, instead of gin, you're gonna be using vodka. You follow the exact same steps, pour vodka in there instead of gin, and then you have yourself a Vodka Collins. Now number five on our list of cocktail recipes is the Bee's Knees, another great classic gin recipe. For this one, go ahead and grab your shaker, and you're gonna add one ounce of honey syrup. I made this one using a two to one ratio of two parts honey to one part water. Add that, then you're gonna add one ounce of fresh lemon juice. Follow that with two ounces of gin, add some ice to your shaker, give it a nice shake, and then you're gonna go ahead and double strain that into your glass. No garnish for this one, the bee's knees. Now number six on our list is the lemon drop martini. Now I chuckle to myself whenever I say this or even think of this cocktail because it kind of takes me back to my college days of lemon drop shots. I don't know if that's still a thing. I'm positive I'm dating myself when I'm saying this, but you know what, if it's not a thing, we're bringing it back. Here's all you do for your lemon drop martini. Grab your shaker with some ice in it, then you go ahead and add one ounce of simple syrup, 
one ounce of fresh lemon juice, and your two ounces of vodka. Go ahead and give that a nice shake, strain that into your glass, then you're gonna take a nice peel of lemon, express the oils over it, rub it around the glass so you can get that nice aromatic essence and a little bit of an extra bite from the citrusy-ness, that's a word, we're sciency up in here, the citrusy-ness of the lemon peel, rub it around the glass, drop it in the glass, and then you are all set with your lemon drop martini. Now number seven on our list is our whiskey sour. Now for this one, you are basically gonna be following the exact same template as you did for the previous one, the lemon drop, but of course the only difference is you're gonna substitute whiskey instead of the vodka. So that's gonna be one ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of fresh lemon juice, two ounces of whiskey, give that a nice shake, and then you pour that in a rock glass over ice. You could garnish that with a lemon wheel if you like, or you could serve it as is. That's the whiskey shower in a nutshell. Now we're gonna get into some of our rum cocktails with the classic daiquiri. For this one, grab your shaker once again with your, some ice. No seeing a theme here. <laughs> grab your shaker with some ice. Go ahead and add one ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of fresh lime juice, and two ounces of rum. By the way, as you can see, there's a lot of these recipes that call for simple syrup. Most of them, as a matter of fact, if you do not know how to make simple syrup, by all means, check out this video right here. Do not buy it, it is just sugar and water, but this video will show you how to get the right consistency of the syrup, the right viscosity, to make sure your cocktails come out perfect every single time. Back to the cocktail. Go ahead and shake that up, and strain that in your glass with some ice, take a nice lime wheel, slice it, garnish your glass with it, and you're all set with your classic rum daiquiri. Now number nine on our list is another classic rum recipe, the mojito. What you're gonna do for this one is go ahead and grab your shaker, put about four to six fresh mint leaves in there, take a lime and quarter it, and then drop those in the shaker as well. Take your muddler and give it a nice press. Not so much that you wanna shred the mint because that will release some more vegetal flavors versus the nice minty oils in essence that you come to know from anything minty, as well as get some of the oils out of the skins of the lime, and obviously the juice as well. Give it a nice press, and then you're gonna go ahead and add one ounce of simple syrup and two ounces of rum. Put a little bit of crushed ice in your shaker, go ahead and give it a nice shake. Then you wanna take your glass, double strain that in your glass over some crushed ice, top it up with a little more crushed ice. Now this is optional, I personally like to do it this way because I find it to be more re refreshing. Totally up to you though. I like to add about an ounce of sparkling water to my mojito, and then once that's done, top it off with a little more crushed ice, take a nice fresh sprig of mint, mint I'm sorry, agitate it over your fingers, and put that behind the ice. Perfect garnish, perfect complement to the classic mojito. Now number 10 on our list is our caiprioska, and this one is very similar to a mojito. It actually comes from the caipirinha. Um, this one is very simple. All you're gonna do for this one is follow the same steps as you would as you're making a mojito, Take the mint out of the equation, substitute the vodka, sorry, substitute the rum from vodka, do everything else the exactly the same, and you have the caprioska. Quick, simple, easy, cocktail number 10. Finally, we're at number 11, and we're at one of my favorite whiskey cocktails, the Old Fashioned. Now for this one, all you're gonna do is take your rock glass, this is one, another one that you're gonna build into glass, take a sugar cube. If you don't have a sugar cube, you can go ahead and use a bar spoon of simple syrup, or a half a teaspoon of sugar. I personally like using either the sugar or the sugar cube because I personally kind of like that gritty texture when you're sipping it, but it's totally up to you and definitely up to your guests. But essentially what you're gonna do, let's say you go the sugar cube route. You grab your sugar cube, put it in your glass. Go ahead and add about two to three dashes of Angostura bitters. Take your muddler, muddle it into a nice little paste. Then you're gonna add two ounces of your whiskey to it. Traditionally, it calls for a rye whiskey. I personally like it with bourbon. I invite you to try both. Once you've done that, add a large cube of ice to it, and then you're gonna stir it in the glass for about 20 to 30 revolutions. Once you're done with that, take a nice orange peel, and go ahead and express the oils from the orange peel into the glass. Rub it around the glass so that you can impart some of the oils on the rim as well, and then drop the peel into the glass. That's your garnish. You are all done with your old fashioned. 
And those are my 11 best cocktail recipes for beginners. Um, let me know in the comments if there are any other cocktails that I could have added to the list, should have added to the list. Maybe I'll do a follow-up video to this one if this is something you guys would be interested in. I'll definitely get to it in the days and weeks ahead. Now, if you're looking for the best bartender training to take your skills to the next level, go ahead and head over to barprince.co and check out the programs and products we have over there. You could actually kickstart your journey right now by clicking the link in the description for the Bar Prince Cheat Sheet free PDF training to help you master the art of the cocktail in the shortest time possible. Finally, if you found this video helpful, and I really hope you have, don't forget to give it a like and share it with your friends. For more great bartending tutorials, videos, tips, and tricks, don't forget to check out these videos right here. Thanks a lot for joining me and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.